one of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa calls himself the Blackheart because he makes no distinction between friend and foe inside the ring. And Byron, that never bodes well for Ciampa's opponents. A man driven by desire and passion, which is interpreted by some as unbridled ruthlessness. Now you look at Champa, you look at a guy who has threatened careers, ruined psyches, and that's for the people he actually likes. That's the genius of being able to take the humanity out of the equation. Some love him, some loathe him, but everyone respects him. Well, lucky for him, Champa's not here to make friends. He's here to put food on the table for his family. And Champa will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. to this young man's name. This guy has everything going for him. Amazing physique, endless charisma, a surefire future main eventer. The future has become the now, Cole. Austin Theory is already primed for the main event in WWE. Saxton, get out of the way. You can't be in this selfie. The sadistic and vicious Tommaso Ciampa. Nothing has ever seemed to cheer him up or mellow him out. Ciampa was once yeah. known as the Sicilian psychopath. When you get a nickname like that, I don't think your personality really ever changes all that much. Yeah, there's an edge to Ciampa in the ring that I don't think can ever be dulled. We'll have a tough time tonight because Austin Theory is like someone made a superstar in a laboratory. His stats are maxed and he's as hungry as it gets. Theory may be young, but he is literally built for success. Uh, Theory's age is the biggest mark for and against him. Thus far, his natural abilities have won out. We'll see if they do again here tonight. Uh-oh. And it's Zulerian. Going right after the neck. Neckbreaker. Tommaso Ciampa seems to draw from an nearly bottomless well of stamina. How can he use that to get the upper hand? Well, unlike most superstars, Ciampa has the ability to drag a match out. In fact, it looks like he has other plans here. Theory is becoming a bloody mess in there. Oh, fighting nasty there. And Theory found himself a little over his head there. Yeah, this Ciampa was showing off that vicious streak of his there. Theory struggling to defend himself. Ciampa making good use of his stamina there. Pouring on the gas and overwhelming his opponent. And a big boot. Oh, flipping the script on him there. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. This rival 
Gallery has really started to heat up over the past few weeks. There's always something simmering under the surface here, Cole, and they're living proof of it right now. Ciampa wants to end this. Oh, what impact! Project Ciampa. Ciampa once again proving how vicious he can be. Fourth matchup between these two men, both jockeying for the advantage. Oh, what? Stayed out of harm's way. Yeah, don't want anything to do with this opponent, but I don't think he's going to have a choice, guys. Uh, you're not getting very far. <laughs> Perfectly laid trap. Got them right where they want them. Yeah, that was a dirty and cowardly trick. Whatever it takes to get an advantage, Saxton. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. Dodges out of the way. Oh no, dangerous maneuver there. Three, two, oh, oh, oh. four. Choppa with a well-timed shot. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. And now gets tossed into the ring. Shoulders down. wins of his career. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Tommaso. Can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance. Quite like Asuka. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. Asuka! It always seems the higher the stakes, the more powerful the Empress becomes. Asuka is always on point. She can shut your lights out in the blink of an eye. And you've always got to be wary of the poison mist. Think of all the memorable clashes against Bailey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, just to name a few. Was invincible in NXT, every bit as dominant on Raw and SmackDown. If you look deep into the eyes of Asuka, you can almost see your demise. Already a first ballot Hall of Fame career, but her accolades keep on growing. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? A 
Now, Rhea Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feeling a little squeamish? Feel a little uncomfortable. comes into this match with nothing but bad intentions. She's a superstar who seems to enjoy tormenting her opponents as much as possible. There's nothing wrong with taking pleasure in your own handiwork. Inflicting agony just happens to be something Rhea has a natural talent for. Who are we to question what makes her joy? That's one way to look at it, but I doubt her opponents see it the same way. They see Ripley as nothing but a nightmare to deal with. But across the way is Asuka, maybe one of the most intimidating superstars in WWE. It's been proven time and time again she's not lying when she says no one is ready for Asuka. Yeah, between her raw power and incredibly deep in-ring knowledge, it's almost impossible to fully prepare for a match against Asuka. Just when you think you have her figured out, Asuka can take things to a whole different level. Going up top! Taking flight! Diving body splash! And it looks like she's got the shoulders down. She still fights out in one. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. Attack in the knee. You know, Rhea Ripley is all about methodically destroying her opponents in the ring. So if I was taking her on, I'd try to control the tempo and make her compete at my speed, not allowing her to find a good offensive rhythm. Not a bad idea. That might just be enough to throw Ripley off her game. show here's another look here is your winner Rhea Ripley a very strong showing in this women's division victory she came into this match with one thing on her mind and would you look at that it came to fruition The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel and Umberto, the Lethal Lovers, Los Lotharios. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over.
Johnny Wrestling has become Johnny Raw. And their opponents, first from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Gargano is no stranger to success. He's main event at some of the biggest events in NXT history. And Johnny's well equipped to continue that upward trajectory on the main roster. It's time for Johnny Wrestling to show the world why he earned the nickname. And I cannot wait to see it. Once again, claim his spot atop WWE. A Hall of Famer who has survived judgment and embraced his darker side to become even more dangerous than ever before. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, was the first entrant in the 2021 Royal Rumble, outlasted every competitor and won it all. And if that's not grit, I don't know what is. Angel and Umberto, Los Lothario, set for action here tonight. These two have a tendency to lose their focus, but when they're on, they are absolutely impressive guys. Yeah, Los Lothario is not just smooth with the ladies when it comes to the in-ring work. Oh, leg swapping. Oh, Into the corner. This can't be good. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Feeling the effects of that last hit. This could do it. He's able to beat a two count. Still not enough to put him away. Right to the face. My God. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Uh oh. Summer's on plancha. This is it. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Suplex! Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. And that was a well-executed attack. Competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Evil to reverse. Good grief. Ooh, that is so close to our announce table. I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Looks like a fly from the top. Still got more left in the tank. Ooh. This match is brutality starting to show on him. A little 
rope assistance attacking the arm. This man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star.
and his opponents. First, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Multiple tag team and intercontinental championship reigns during his first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has returned, Cody Rhodes has reached main event status. He fights every night to make his family, make his father proud. Well, I think they'll be even prouder after his match tonight. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Yeah. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Look at the focus in Balor's eyes. Yeah, Balor looks ready to clear the obstacle that awaits him. Well, Byron, I think Finn wants to do more than clear the obstacle. Finn looks ready to obliterate the obstacle. the Viper, the most lethal superstar in WWE history. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton is basically a five-star yeah. general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved into the apex predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled.
falls count anywhere action beginning in the ring with Bobby Lashley, Cody Rhodes, Finn Balor, and Randy Orton. The path to victory is as simple as it is daunting. Take the opposition down one by one. Easier said than done, of course. Able to evade. What a shot. This team works so well together. away living to fight another day and I feel like these superstars have kind of settled into a rhythm somewhere at this point early jitters out of the way you have the lay of the land but the key is not to get too comfortable Fatal four has had a lot of variables and things can change on a dime Cody Rhodes laying down the gauntlet to his opponent a big fucking will it be he got the shot up in time we are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? And gets tossed back into the mat. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Chair. And what a maneuver we just saw there. 
Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection. Up and nineteen sixteen. That could end Orton now. Somehow he kicked out. The Viper remains alive. Randy Orton continues the fight here tonight. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep fighting. Balor hoisted him up. 1916 from Balor. Did Finn clinch this? And they just bust it out of that powerful maneuver. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Tough position to be caught in here. Action, giving their fans their money's worth and more. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rose. A 
truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. A top-to-bottom, action-packed match from all four men.